Have the telecommunication companies really, today, the financial flexibility to sustain such a demanding investment program? We haven't sponsored the new issue of uh, Business Week, uh, but the title is uh, pretty much interesting, Telecom Back from the Dead. Actually, I tend to disagree with them, because first, I don't think that they were dead, and second, I don't think that they are out of the woods. We are in a situation, as uh, also previously has been mentioned in, uh, in the various intervention, where the average top line growth is either sluggish or, let's, let's say, it, revenues are declining and margins are constantly eroded. And I want to give you an example in order to understand this phenomenon. I'm going to pick up Deutsche Telekom so that nobody is going to contest or be unethical. First quarter revenues in Germany dropped 5.1% year on year while EBITDA margin fall from 33.5 to 30.3. It's about 3 percentage points of decline in a year. This is a warning signal. In this context, it's obvious that the success of new high value services become key, in my opinion, to turn this negative trend. Obviously, everybody is talking about new services, but the prerequisite for the successful launch of those services is the availability of the next generation networks. There is a, a good uh, uh, campaign, which is uh, La Fibra Che Rides, Mining Fiber, which is actually asking, it's uh, on, on many blogs, if the NDN is a strategy or is an, is an economy, policy issue. Certainly, the rollout of those net 